à une thématique abordée hier, qui est la thématique euh, du cloud. Donc cette année, nous avons euh, la chance d'avoir euh, Google en sponsor, qui va venir témoigner de la puissance de l'infrastructure de Google au service des applications et des données utilisateurs. Euh, pour cela, je vous demande d'accueillir chaleureusement Barak Regev, euh, qui est Enterprise Cloud Platform Lead IMEA, et euh, je vous laisse la scène. Welcome. On peut l'applaudir. Good afternoon. Sorry for my French. Thank you. Obviously, my name is not Peter Magnuson. It's Barak Regev. Uh, I lead cloud platform for EMEA on behalf of Google, and I want to thank everybody here in the audience as well for those seeing us on live stream for taking the time and hearing what we have to say in regards to cloud platform. I want to I wanna keep this short presentation tied to the concept and the key theme of this uh, day, of, which is open, open world, open source. And I want to start off by talking about how cloud is perceived within Google and what we've seen or try to contribute to the open world as well. Some of you might know all these acronyms up on the time scale here, which shows GFS stands for Google File System, but kept on, and I think that one of the key turning points for us in contributing a major piece to the open source community is publishing the MapReduce framework white paper back in 2004. Those of you who are familiar with the term Hadoop, which has become quite a standard for addressing big data within a solution that you want to deploy within your premises or within cloud provider, has been defined based on the MapReduce framework. Just recently, we've also published the Dremel white paper, which probably will lead to more open source projects, and we expose that as a BigQuery service API, Manage API. The beauty of all these stuff that we are trying to contribute and also building ourselves is built on a one single infrastructure. It's that same underlining infrastructure that provides you the ability to do the Google search queries, to watch Google video on YouTube, and it's the same infrastructure that supports this massive consumerization of IT that we see across both consumers as well as enterprises. Some of the key facts that we're putting up here is just to explain to you that the way that Google works is in a very unique manner. It has all its services, regardless of what it is, running on that same global infrastructure that supports infinite amount of scale and speed. You can see here a few stats that we've put up. We're talking about a staggering number of 4 billion hours of video uploaded every month. That translates to 72 hours of video uploaded every minute. My presentation is eight minutes long, and during that presentation, 560 plus 575 hours of video will be uploaded to YouTube on that same global infrastructure. And on top of that, as other stats, 425 active Gmail users, 100 million gigabytes, which is 100 petabytes, which is our search index of the World Wide Web, and add to that the average response rate of 250 milliseconds, which is what takes you to do a search on Google. That's that same infrastructure that we're unboxing, that we're opening up to the market. When you go and choose the Google Cloud Platform, it's about taking advantage of that scale and performance. It's about receiving a low latency, because one of the concerns with a lot of people when I meet with about moving to the cloud is about what about latency? How is it going to perform? When I manage things on premise, I don't have to deal with latency. And we've been investing a lot. And again, that same infrastructure that you are using for search and YouTube is that same infrastructure that suddenly is powering your business. It's about a platform that doesn't need to be patched. It's about a platform that doesn't need to be updated. We will take care of all the back end. We will, as we keep on developing our cloud platform and we keep on developing our services, your benefit from the state of our technology. Some people ask us, when did we start off doing cloud? And if you think about it, Google just celebrated 14 years of birthday, relatively a young company, which managed to do quite a lot in a short time. But we've been doing cloud since the day we've started doing business. Because 
dealing with indexing the World Wide Web, providing you with access to the worldwide information, and making it accessible for everybody is something that requires a massive data infrastructure behind that scene. And that's, again, Google is cloud. Google is about our cloud platform products that we have, we're unboxing and unlocking for you, supports many of the open source frameworks, but it's about exposing our systems and services to run your own personal code. That's what we're talking about here. It's the time to let you innovate. It's not about investing CapEx in setting up your own data infrastructure. It's not about doing two-year-long projects and designing very, very complex architecture. It's actually about running things in a very simple manner. This is, I think, the paradigm shift that we're all experiencing, and I think that's the true nature of what cloud is about. It's about doing stuff that you have never managed to do before. It's about launching a website or a mobile application that is now going to support millions of customers that I never had the capacity to plan for. And if, you just, if I just want to be a little bit more explicit and tell you what our Google Cloud Platform is about, first, it had the noble mission of powering the world's application, analytics, and services. And we do that by offering you two core products, which you see them one would be the Google App Engine, our platform as a service environment, which is a fully managed service by Google that lets you run your own code in our secured environment and enjoy that scale and efficiency I spoke about. We've also just recently introduced the Google Compute Engine, and that's our infrastructure as a service offering, where you basically can spin up VMs and Google same infrastructure that's supporting, again, that same mechanism that supports the worldwide web searches and spin up your own VMs and put on your custom applications or infrastructure that you need to scale. But it doesn't end with Google App Engine and Compute Engine. We do offer a set of services or what we call API that are very unique. I would point out the one that written under storage and analytics, which is BigQuery. Going back to where I started this presentation and talking about MapReduce framework and big data, Google has been dealing with big data for over 14 years. And we've just recently exposed our managed API service called BigQuery, which lets you upload literally unlimited amount of data and query it on an ad hoc basis and get a result set within a few seconds. It sounds like science fiction, and those of you who were upstairs and saw our breakout session, we demoed how you can run a billion row query in 10 seconds. That's how powerful it is, and that's how unique it is. And just to finalize with one slide here, in four years, Google App Engine has managed to grow tremendously. You can see things that we started off with 2008. We mentioned a, little, a lot of stuff that we've added and continue to evolve. But if you think about it, this is a platform that's currently, as we speak, supporting over 7.5 billion hits a day. It supports massive amount of applications. We have over half a million active applications. We have two trillion database operations running on our data store, which is the biggest non-SQL data environment you will find. That's scale, and that's efficiency, and that's Google Cloud Platform. If you want to know any more, you can go into our website, cloud.google.com, and we're here around to answer any question. I want to thank you for the short presentation and time for listening to me, and have a great weekend and day. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much.